selecting the right driver can seem impossible. There are so many fantastic options out there from club heads to shafts, and it can seem a little bit overwhelming. And of course, the best way to find out which driver is exactly right for your unique swing is to get a fitting at second swing. But if you're crunched for time, here are the steps you'll need to take to make sure you choose the right driver. The first step in selecting the right driver for your swing is identifying the goals you have. So clearly, if you're looking for a new driver, that means there's something more that you want off the tee. It could be more distance, could be better accuracy. Maybe you're struggling with a slice and you want to eliminate that. And at second swing, there are so many options that can help you. And of course, we want you to consider your budget because let's face it, drivers are expensive, especially those brand new ones. So if you're not willing to spend $600 plus on a brand new driver, there are a bunch of used options here at Second Swing as well that can certainly help you off the tee. Step two is finding the club head that works best for you. And typically manufacturers release drivers into three different categories. So let's break down those categories here. First category is the high MOI driver category. This is where most drivers and most players fit into. These drivers are aimed at putting the ball down the fairway and giving you the most distance possible um, with the most all around performance. The second category is the draw bias category. And as you can tell, that one is aimed at helping promote a draw or for golfers that might struggle with the slice, which we know is a lot of you out there, fighting that slice and keeping the ball straight down the fairway. These drivers usually have a little bit more weight aimed in the heel. And because of that weight, the club face squares up a little bit more efficiently, helping that ball maintain its straight line. And the final category is the low spin driver. So if there's a lot of you out there that might have a lot of extra speed or maybe come down very steep on the golf ball. And because of this, your ball is spinning quite a bit. Well, to get that spin rate down and give you more distance, these manufacturers have created the low spin driver category. The center of gravity has moved a little bit more forward and the result is a more piercing ball flight for you. Another item to consider is the loft of your driver. How do you like the ball flight of your current driver? Is it too high or is it too low? Of course, lowering the loft on your driver will produce a lower ball flight and probably lower spin. However, if you want to see more height on your drives, a good way to do that is to increase the loft on your driver. And today, so many options feature adjustable housels, which can help you adjust the loft and the lie angle to help you find the trajectory that you're looking for off the tee. And the third step to selecting the right driver for your game is to select the right golf shaft to pair with the club head you chose. Driver shafts are broken into several different categories of flex, which is how much the shaft will bend when force is applied. And typically the best choice for you of the shaft flex is based heavily on your swing speed and your swing tempo. So here's a look at the different shaft categories to choose from and a general driving distance range that categorizes players who would fit into each. So for example, if you hit the ball less than 180 yards off the tee, you best fit into a light flex golf shaft. If you hit the ball from about 180 to 210 yards on average, you would fit into a senior flex and so forth from 210 to 240 in the regular flex from 240 to 270 yards in the stiff flex. And then if you hit the ball longer than 270 yards off the tee on average, you most likely fit into an extra stiff shaft. As a general rule of thumb, the lighter and more flexible the golf shaft, the higher the ball will launch and the more it will spin. Meanwhile, the stiffer and heavier the golf shaft is, the lower the ball will launch and the lower it will spin. So if you consider your average driving distance to be within 210 to 240 yards, the first place to start for you is probably a regular flex shaft to pair with your driver. Now you've got the best driver and shaft combination that best suits your swing, but that does not mean the process is completely over. We recommend taking advantage of the Second Swing 30 day play guarantee, which means once you got your driver in hand, you can play it for 30 days and assess, hey, does this thing work for me? Is it the best option for me? And if you think you're not getting 100% the best results, you can bring that driver back in and we'll make sure it's optimized specifically for you. As a reminder, we always recommend getting with a fitter, scheduling a tour van fitting and letting our team dial in every aspect of your driver from the loft, the shaft, the grip, the length of the shaft. Every single metric is identified and measured just for you. So, Golfers, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully this helps you hit more bombs off the tee.